let me read something here. Uh, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 4, verses 17. The Bible says, Jesus began to preach. Remember, uh, in the very first, in the beginning, uh, John the Baptist also did the same. He spoke about how people can turn from their wicked ways and accept or and believe in the Son who is coming. That is Jesus Christ. So, from that time, Jesus began to preach, crying out, Repent, change your mind for the better, heritage, heartily amended your ways with uh, about. With all your, your past sins, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verses 18. As he was walking by the sea of Galilee, he noticed two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, throwing a drag net into the sea, for, for they were fishermen. Okay. The, the, the verse that I wanted is 17. So Jesus. Uh, walked preaching the gospel. He walked preaching the gospel and he said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Um, another one, Luke chapter 15, verse 7 I said to you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repents. Let me repeat it again. I said to you, Luke chapter 15 and verses, uh, verses 7, I said to you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over yeah. one sinner that repents more than over 99 just persons which need no repentance. Remember, Jesus uh, taught about, uh, uh, a, a, taught a parable about a lost sheep and said uh, when a shepherd uh, loses one sheep we'll have to leave the 99 out of the 100 if out of the, uh, the 100 one uh, get lost he leaves the 99 and go looks and go search for the one that is lost so the one which is lost is the person who has not accepted Christ Jesus in his or her life to be their personal Lord and Savior. So, likewise, here, when we are preaching the gospel, first of all, uh, we preach it to those who have not accepted Christ. Just like Jesus said, that I have not come here to preach to those who already believed. No, he came to preach to those who have not believed the gospel. Uh, again, Luke chapter 5, and verses 20, uh, 32 says, the Bible says, I came not to call the righteous. That's what I've been telling you. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Luke chapter 5, verse 32. I may, I, I may invite my brother uh, Kevin Anderson, if possible, uh, to join me. Uh, maybe. Then we continue from there. Uh, if it's there, then we shall. As we continue. Maybe. Okay. Now, if at all. Jesus did not come to call for righteous, rather for repentance. Meaning that even those, even those who are preaching the gospel right now should be preaching the gospel about repentance, not those to please people. 
we should stop the gospel that pleases people the gospel fine it's it's okay to preach about uh, miracles to preach about receiving it yeah fine but how are you receiving it there is a question mark so we should always have the uh, the gospel about bringing bringing people into the kingdom of god we are not called to preach about uh, self desires about money about uh, luxurious things you know, because so many things we desire in life even me i i, I desire some things even uh, even you who is watching me you desire things so if at all if at all we can adopt the, the, the gospel of repentance then it will be more better to to get more people into the kingdom of heaven the bible says one person if one person accepts jesus christ there is a party made in the kingdom of god or, or in heaven in heaven so uh so many things that we go through so many things that we go through in life and then so many things that the world has enclosed in our lives and then we forget uh, to to adopt the kingdom the, the godly uh, the godly ways or the god the godly desires the thing that god desires us to to obtain in life so we are taken up by the pressures of the world and we are forgetting that heaven and hell are real if at all we don't accept if at all we don't accept jesus christ in our lives then there is a penalty that we are going to face after life after here on earth to go, uh, when we go to meet the father so we should we should uh, balance some things like serving god and then the things of the world but jesus uh, told the, uh, the, the the pharisees that they laid those for kaisar before kaisari and let those for god be for god meaning if you are to live or if if you are to do the will of god you should be or you should leave the things of the world i told you that uh, these things of the world they are they are just you know they they perish they are temporal they are temporal meaning that anytime we leave the earth i told you in my previous uh preaching that we are visitors here on earth just like when you go to visit another country if you go in another country you are a foreigner so like was here on earth we are like foreigners we just came we came meaning anytime we are going back to where to, to whom created us so if at all time comes if at all time comes and then you know God calls us how are you going how are you going I'm going to read you again this scripture and the book of Luke chapter 24 and verse 7 and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem so the gospel 
began from Jerusalem and it spreads all over the world. Even right now, I am doing so because some people used by God preached the gospel to me. Fine, I was born in a Christian family, but I had to decide myself because uh, a child decides at the age of 11 years where to go you know, or what to do. You know. So I decided, I chose, when I had the gospel, when I had the gospel, I decided, I decided to push on with the ways of God, the desires of God, so that I can obtain the kingdom of God. The Bible says, those who accepted Christ Jesus, they were chosen to be called sons of God. So, if at all you are going through challenges in life, but you don't know how, how it came about, first of all, uh, when Jesus was moving in Jerusalem, he moved preaching and healing the sick. Those who had faith in God were healed. And those who did not have faith, how were they? Maybe they were not healed. You know. Likewise, even right now, if you don't have faith in God, you are not healed. You can't be healed. You can't receive anything from God, you know. You need to, you first have to be with faith, believing in God, then something happens to you. But the system of preaching, receive it, receive it, receive it. I want to omit it. Omit it. Let's preach the gospel about repentance. It's a very important thing. Uh, to be to preach about so that we can get or pull many into the kingdom of God. I'm read you. Uh, I'm gonna read you this uh, this uh, this text, and then uh, I'll be praying. Okay. Read it. Uh, you can share, you can keep sharing this live video, and then God will bless you. Uh, in the book of Matthew, uh, I'm gonna read uh, in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, from verses uh, 11. For the Son of Man came to save, for the Son of Man came to save from the penalty of death that which was lost. So, if you only receive one thing from the, po from the post today, I ask that you receive this Jesus Christ's primary purpose to coming to the world was to save it from spiritual death. His whole motivation was to save sinners from the penalty of death. If you can praise this as a believer, in the forefront for, for of your heart and soul, it will keep you in line with God. First of all, the, 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 the chapter or the scripture tells us, for the Son of Man came to save. He came to save from the penalty of death that which was lost. So Jesus did not come to bring biscuits or chocolate or candy or name it no. Jesus he came purposely to save us who are sinners to save us from death that's why when he died he went in hell and got the keys of life and death so he has the authority a 
upon life and death. That's why in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses, from verse 16, the guy said, I have placed today before you life and death. Choose curse and blessing. So you choose one. If you, for you, if you think that you will, you will go with the world, then death awaits you. But if you feel that you want to follow the, the principles and the ways and the uh, okay ways of God, then you should choose life. Because if you believe, if you accept Jesus in your life, then you have life. After here, after earth, you will have life. So, uh, we always need to keep before us that, uh, that every day there are mortal souls on the very brink of destruction. Sinners are literally covered by the shadow of death. Sinners are literally covered by the shadow of death. Meaning, those who uh, sin before God like murder, murdering, stealing, abusing, fornication, adultery, name them, you are covered by death. If you die straight in hell, but it's better to die before you, before you repent. The Bible says time will come, it will be too late for one to, to, to repent or to accept Jesus because time for the gospel is here, is now. So you believe before time ends because time will end. And if you don't believe, if you don't ask, accept Jesus, time will come when no one will be accepted. Even though you ask for repentance, how many times? I have witnessed a number of uh, people who are taken in the courts. They, they ask for uh, a bond, but they, they ain't granted it. It will be even the time when the Son of Man comes back to take the church. Very many people will see him they will try to repent but it will be too late for them why wait that why should you wait for that day why not to accept Jesus today as your personal Lord and Savior I know and I understand we all do long things I'm not perfect but at least I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to be perfect before God. You know? So, if you also are there and you feel that something, that you have something on your heart, it's like a milestone, heavy, just surrender to God. Give your life to Jesus and you'll be free. The Bible says, whom the Son set free, is free indeed. He is free indeed. Would you like to receive Jesus Christ in your life as your personal Lord and Savior? To take away all your burdens, your worries? You know, the Bible says, cast your burdens unto Jesus. He will take it, He will carry your sin. In the book of John, chapter 3, verse 17, the Bible says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn it. Rather, those who believe Jesus Christ to be saved. Very many people might, th might think that uh, uh, we are just you know, 
wasting our time. But these are the true words that one should hear or listen to. And if you don't take them into your heart, then expect a penalty. I told you the penalty of the, is death. So Jesus Christ is the only way, as the Bible says. Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. No one goes to the Father. That's Jesus explained, uh, telling uh, his disciples. No one goes to the Father except through him. Except through him. You won't go to heaven with a crane, with a rocket, or with your money, or with your cars, with your beautiful house, expensive houses. You won't. It will be a time of hardship. Just like the, the rich man, this rich man and Lazarus. The rich man is not given the name. I don't know why. But Lazarus, who was a poor beggar, eating the leftover of this poor man. When he died, when he died, he went straight into the hands of Abraham. But where did the rich man go? He went in a place of suffering. And that's hell. So which place do you want to go? Which place do you want to go to? Heaven or hell? Remember, heaven and hell are real. So you choose one for your life. To save your life. And if you choose heaven meaning you need jesus in your life you need jesus in your life why do i say why do i say that god intervened through us he is god he can do anything that is true god is all knowing and can do anything yet this is this is the great mystery he chooses to use us we are the ones whom are his hand extended we are the ones who can intercede and stand in the gap and travel on behalf of lost souls and that is why i included the scripture job chapter 23 and verse 30 which says uh which says i'm gonna read it uh thank you brother kevin uh, uh for that comment i'm gonna read for you job chapter 23 and verses 30 oh sorry and verses 17 yeah yeah 20, no job 22 and verses 30 22 verses 30 the bible says he will even deliver the one for whom you intercede who is not innocent yes he will be delivered through the cleanness of your heart if you cleanse yourself if you come to jesus and believe in jesus all your sins will be taken away. Don't blame yourself. The situation you are all going through. That me, I'm bad love. And what I hear, that pastors do ask a lot of money from people. If you don't have money, they don't pray for you. No. Remember that Jesus said, there will come so many people claiming to be preaching his gospel or there will be there ships or wolves in ships pretending wolves in sheep pretending to be preaching the gospel and yet they are milking the children of God 
I've witnessed so many people in Uganda who, who had a very good business running, but when they go to those prophets, so-called Nabi, but Nabi, they go to prophets who, where, who uh, those, where are those prophets? Do ask a lot of money from those people and they run bankrupt. Imagine, they had a good business. They had a well and present uh, family. Their relationship was, is great. But when the moment they join the prophets, false prophets, we call them false prophets, and I thank uh, Pastor Senyonga, who came up and fought against those prophets. They have stolen a lot of uh, money from people, their properties. They tell you, they tell you, bring that proper, that land, bring that, ma those, that money, that house, God wants it. Moreover, they ask things in the name of God. Of whereby these people when they start running bankrupts they start claiming they start claiming I hate Christianity I don't like Christians I don't like anything so that's the the, the situation they end they end in but yet if you accept Jesus and look for a Bible teaching church. Bible, because those prophets they don't read in the Bible, they don't teach words from the Bible. No. But those who are called to preach the gospel, you hear the messages, the message from God. Which message touches you and you feel like you really want to, you know, to draw closer and closer to God. My brother, uh, you, 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 you want God to use you. And I know, I know, God is more than willing and ready to use you to do tremendous work that He wants you to do for Him. Oh, Father, I worship you. I go for your name. I give you all the glory and honor. Because there is something, there is a message that you're passing out to your people, to whoever is watching, going to watch it, in the name of Jesus. Touch the lives of those people who have not accepted you. Let them believe. Let them know that you are real. Let them know that you are real. Let there be a sign to show them that you are God. That you are real God who does tremendous miracles. Work. Some they have not believed. They are suffering right now. Those who, are, those who have not accepted Jesus, they suffer, they suffer. Satan, Satan makes, uh, makes, makes sure they face, they face a hard life. Why would you have to wait for that hardship to come in your life and yet there is a way how you can prevent it and that's accepting Jesus in your life. It's not a coincidence or it's not a mistake that we who believe in Jesus or who accept Jesus it's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. You know. Also you it can be a breakthrough or a way of succeeding in life provided Jesus Christ comes in your life. 
Okay, I'm gonna read this last passage before I pray. Here is what I know and what I believe, other than those whom have committed blasphemy uh, against the Holy Spirit, or have weaved him to a print of no return, other than those two examples. I believe there is no man or woman who is unreachable. And once I have found God the world, uh, and once I have found God, the world then becomes my responsibility. There is no stronghold that Satan has on any man that we cannot pull down. If we take up our spiritual weapons that God has given us and intercede for that man, the sword of the spirit can undo anything in the hearts, the minds and the consciences of man. The blood of the lamb is powerful if we so choose to use it. And the fire of the Holy Spirit we devour and consume. I say again, every man is our responsibility. In this scripture, to stand on for a man's soul. If you are willing to intercede for a person, even if that person is guilty, if you choose to intercede for that person, it, it guarantees that this person will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands. You can decree and declare this scripture and intercede for a precious priest, uh, soul. And as long as you are willing to intercede and stand in the gap and pray for this individual, God says, he will use the cleanness of your own hands to deliver his soul. I have only quoted the word of God here, please. Yeah. God says he will only deliver or clean, cleanse, cleanse that individual in your hands. In your hands, or oh, in my hands. If anyone watching me right now, if you happen to accept Christ Jesus, God is going to cleanse you through my hands because God has used me. God has used me to preach to you, to tell you the good news, to tell you the words which you need in your heart so that you can accept the Christ in your life. Believe today. Accept today and be healed and be saved. And be saved. Accept Jesus in your life. Walk with God. Believe. You remember this, uh, the woman in the Bible who was sick for 12 years. She was bleeding. 12 years. And when she decided, woke up one day, and when she heard that Jesus was passing by, she said, if only I can touch the garment of God, of Jesus, I'll be healed. Likewise, you who is in the hospital, you are admitted, your legs are up like this, you, uh, you had an accident, you have back pain, you have so many uh, sickness in your life, you have HIV AIDS, you suffer, you are in the hospital because you are, you, you are a victim of COVID-19, you are in the hospital because you have cancer. Cancer, they are just counting days, your days to die. You know, because your cancer reached the stage whereby they can't treat you. But Jesus Christ has got powers to heal you, has got powers to deliver you from death. 
in the name of Jesus. Remember, Ezekiel prayed. He prayed to God. I said, remember, oh God, the things that I have done for you. And Jesus, and God granted him more years, 15 years. Then who are you not to believe that God can do something, that, that God can extend your lifespan? Believe today. Accept the Son, Jesus Christ, and be saved. Accept the Son Jesus and you will be saved in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank God. I want to thank you for this uh, wonderful word that I've shared. Father, let it be, let, Im, let it impact the lives of the people. Let it go and touch the lives of people. Let it pull so many people into your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, I bless you. Because you are good. You've been good in my life. And I know you will always be good in the lives of those who are watching me as well. And those who are listening to me will live. I pray that may God, may God's hand reach you wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for whoever is sick. May the hand of God move around and heal you. Healing is in the hands of God. I stretch out my hand. Wherever you feel pain, may the power of the Holy Ghost fall unto you in the name of Jesus. May the power of the Holy Ghost move around and heal your life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you may provide anything. Provide those for those people who are in need. And those who support different ministries. Father, enlarge their territories. Enlarge their finances in the name of Jesus. I bless you, Lord. I bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And if you would like to give your life to Christ, you heard the word, and you would like to give your life to Christ, I want you to repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word, and I admit that you are the Son of God. God sent you from heaven to earth to come and die for my sin. Lord, I repent right now of all my sin that I did knowing and unknowing. Father, I pray that you forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive my wicked ways. Forgive the thing that I've, I've done wrong to the community, people, and to the world at large. I pray for forgiveness. Father, forgive me. Remove my name in the book of death and write it in the book of the living so that on that day I may be with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you. I worship you, Lord. I go for your name, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. <sighs> yeah. Um, this sermon, uh, these preachings will be available uh, on iTunes, Spotify, and other platforms, even on YouTube, um, be simply because we want or we should make the gospel go viral in all corners. In all ways, we should make the gospel go viral. So I decided, I decided to make it my to make it my responsibility to see that the, the gospel is spread, to see that I have spread the gospel. That's why I chose uh, to, you know, it's very expensive to go on those platforms, 
but I decided to. And I'm sure God will uh, touch the lives of people through those platforms. Those who will be watching, those who will be listening, I'm sure God will be will touch them in the name of Jesus. So on my Spotify uh, uh, channel is uh, Evangelist Freddy Kabogoza. Still, you can look out, look out me there on Spotify. I'm there, though. Uh, I'm not sure whether the gospel that I, 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 I uploaded there, it's there because uh, it's like I paid something, some money, uh, but I'm not sure whether it is already delivered there. But uh, by God's grace, I'm sure it will. Even this same gospel, it's going to be there. It will be there. And I'll make sure that we or that the gospel was there in the name of Jesus. And if you are there and you would like to, you know, you know, it's not like begging, no. Just but if you would like to to support the gospel to go viral, you know, I told you uh, there there are someone that I preached during the lockdown that uh, there are so many ways how you can serve God. You can serve God with your money. And that is supporting ministries, different ministries, or you supporting the gospel. You know, whenever you support the gospel, God rewards you. God gives you the more because you're making the gospel to go viral, to go to reach in uh, to those people who can't, like, who can't say that I want. Or I, I want to, to, to go to church. Or who, do, who don't have it in mind? But whenever they see the advert that uh, announcing the sermon, you know, it might they might end up clicking. When they click and they start listening, the words that will, that impact their lives, then you never know. They might accept Jesus and they turn to the kingdom of. Of, of God. So, if you can be supportive, uh, then you know uh, it's very funny. But uh, those platforms, they ask a lot of money. That is uh, thirty-nine dollars. That's quite a lot of money. But uh, I decided I have to because I want to serve God. I feel the desire to serve God. I feel the desire to preach the gospel, to go viral in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So, uh, I mean, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be uploading it. I'll be uploading it on my YouTube channel, Fred Kabogoza, and then on those platforms, it, the gospel will be there. I'm, try, I'm trying to, to find a way how I can upload uh, like album then so that it can be there and whenever you feel like you go listen you know, God will bless you yeah. thank you very much for watching me uh, keep sharing believe God for tremendous work that he will do in your life in the mighty name of Jesus God bless you. Shalom.